Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. This is iPhone Pro. Uh, I'm here because I have some tips and tricks I want to share with you today regarding the TX2Z and some of the touch capabilities that it has. Uh, I'm going to be just making a brief video, but I think it's going to be very powerful, something that I want to share with you that's uh, definitely a great tactic uh, for this computer. You can also find these tricks and more at our forum, which is touchswipe.com. I will leave that link in the side of the video. If you like our videos here, please make sure and subscribe and rate us as to how you think we're doing. Alright, let's get started. Um, this trick is pretty simple to do, but it's a very powerful trick and it can help quite a bit. Um, uh, if you've owned a TX2Z, you'll know that there was a gesture you could do to bring up the Media Smart app, and it was you use two fingers and make an M and that would bring up the media, the media Smart app. Well, if you ever do a clean install of Windows 7 or something like that, that goes away, unfortunately. Um, but I have found a, a alternative to that and more. Um, and what you can do is you can actually go down into the pen here, flicks, click on that, I'm sorry if it's a little blurry here, um, but you go to customize, and that will bring up this window, and you go to customize here, and you'll see it gives you several options as to customize your flicks, I guess is what they call it, or swipes. And as you can see, I have the upper right is my 3D cube desktop, the lower right is my 3D flip windows. The lower left is my virtual keyboard, and my upper left is my touch smart software. And then, of course, my left is back, my right is forward, so I can go left, I mean, swipe left and go back pages, or swipe right and go forward pages. And then, of course, I've got drag down for down and drag up for up, so I can scroll pages. So this is very handy, and it's very easy to enter in the commands. Um, basically, you'll see down here, it gives you a window that you cannot read very clearly. Anyway, the top line says name, where you enter a custom name, and the bottom says keys, and you can fill that in by just pressing the combination of keys you want to use, or that that app uses as a shortcut so that it knows where to go for the flick gestures which is easy to add in there it's not difficult at all and once you do that and you're good to go now if you have an app that doesn't use keys like for mine it had the media smart had the button to the right of the screen well what I did just to give you an example and you can do this with pretty much any apps is I went ahead and went into HP, there's the Media Smart. I right clicked, I hit properties, and then if you see it says shortcut key, you can click on that and then hit a combination of buttons and create that shortcut key. And then that's the same thing you would add in the flex area. So you ha now you have, have it fully functional for you. So I'll give you an example. I'm going to flick to the lower right and show you what it does. And these are my. 3D windows, which I love. I can just, you know, choose between these. So that's uh, that's very fun to play with. And then I've got up like this. Somehow, there we go. And that is my 3D desktop. So I can just flick right into that. And let me find my. There we go. Find where I'm active there. And then my keyboard, I love that. I mean, if I want to bring up my keyboard, bingo. And I like this keyboard because it makes noise when I tap on it. So I like that. It's a lot better than the one that just comes up usually. And then, of course, let me close out of this. And then, of course, upper right, I have my Touch Smart app which I am falling in love with more and more every day. So I will leave a link on how to do this in a little more detail because I know the video isn't really that clear. And 
basically it will lead you to the instructions on my forum and I just want to let you know touchswipe.com is growing more and more every day I guess as the touch or multi-touch technology is growing and uh, I invite you to come on down and see what's going on and uh, I believe if you have a touch screen device of any kind uh, you will enjoy our forum uh, more than you could ever imagine there is not another forum out there like ours and I'm proud to be able to say that and uh, we have a lot of new developers we have a lot of new members and we've got some great moderators in it and I admin the forum so it's turning out very very good um, we make new friends with a lot of great people every day regarding the um, the touch apps uh, we've got a lot of development going on and we share everything we have to give you the opportunity to not only build a better device make your touch screen devices more capable uh, but we also share all of the um, software development kits software games uh, tips tricks whatever you need to better improve your devices and also to team up with us to make uh, make this a better touch screen or multi-touch world uh, I think if you come down, you're going to be sp surprised at some of the things you would have never guessed that are out there. Uh, like, just to give you an example, such as how to build a touchpad for under $5. That was an awesome one. Um, things like uh, all the plugins or hacks you could ever want for your Windows Media Center. Um, you know, things like adding the TouchSmart software to an older TX2Z. Um, Windows Touch Pack 7, um, Snowflake Suite, on and on and on. I mean, I could sit here all day naming some of the, all of the great things we have. Monkey Ball, Touch Screen. Um, you know, so come on down, hurry up, and uh, see what we've got going on. And one thing that I just, I'm going to tell you right now that I've noticed is we have almost a thousand members, and almost a thousand members come back every day. So that should tell you uh, quite a bit about what's going on over there. So anyway, I'm iPhone Pro. Thank you for visiting my channel. Please, again, if you like what we're doing here, subscribe to my channel. I love to make new friends. And if you like our videos, please, um, please do us a favor and give us a rating on them, good, bad, or indifferent. We like to know how we're doing so we can, uh, we can either know that we're doing great or improve on what we're doing. So. Always a pleasure talking to you, YouTube, and we'll see you down at touchswipe.com. Thanks, and have a great day.